My dear sisters at the European Women's Lobby, I'm sitting here on a gorgeous May day with a delicious spring wind coming in through my window and my heart is so full and so proud and so excited to celebrate your 25 years. Happy, happy anniversary to you, to all the members, to all the groups, to all the activists, to all the women who have stood on the front lines for the last 25 years to make Europe feminist. I want to first take time to say how much I love you all, how many of you are my dear friends, how I have loved every minute of working with you side by side, sister to sister. And I want to say that your work, whether it be fighting for maternity care or maternity leave, whether it be feminism, activism, or pushing women into leadership roles, or ending trafficking across Europe, or ending sexual abuse, or making sexual abuse known, your work has been critical work in building a huge movement across Europe and the European Union. And I think in looking forward, what we have to think about is really what's been essential to your work, which is the building of coalitions, the building of like-minded groups, but also groups that may not be always like-minded, but who have a central desire to see women move into power, move into equality, move into a world where they are safe and free and cherished and allowed to live fully in their desire and in their vision and wisdom. And I think as we go on, it seems to me the most important things we can be thinking about are how we enlarge, deepen, expand, and revolutionize everything we do. And that in doing that, we have to be much more inclusive, much more aware of those who fall outside the mainstream, who get disappeared in the cracks, the marginalized. And not only do we need to include them, we need to make sure they are leading us because they know the way. Their suffering is their vision. Their um, oppression will teach us where we need to go when it is turned in another direction. I think one of the things I've seen across Europe that concerns me is obviously how austerity has led to racism, how it's led to the hatred of immigrants, how it's led to a lack of empathy and sympathy for those who are escaping really difficult and often brutal forms of oppression in their own homes and homelands, and how we have to be much more receptive to them when they arrive in our borders and when they live within our borders. And actually, I think we have to really let go of the notion of borders, because the whole idea of the European Union was in a way to see a Europe. And I'd like to see a world where women understand, which we always have understood, that there are no borders between them. There are no borders between us. There is only the solidarity of our hearts and our struggle. And I think the other thing I'd like to say is in my experience, what One Billion Rising has certainly taught me, and I just want to thank all of you for your amazing participation and helping Europe rise in so many different ways, is that art has to be central to everything we're doing, poetry and theater and dance and hip hop and any form that pushes the edges and breaks us out of this repressive patriarchal status quo. So for my gift to all of you on this very special day, I am going to give you my body dancing in celebration of the European Women's Alive.